Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel, welcome to a brand new vlog. I like to say welcome to a brand new day, but it is not. It is currently 1.40. I've had a very productive day, so productive. I've gotten so many things done, so I cannot even be that mad, but I did a ton of laundry. I really needed to wash all of my workout clothes because your girl is back on her workout game. Not fully, we're easing back into it. Um, I've come a long way with my PT. If you're new here, hey, hi, welcome. I have a hip issue. These hips don't lie, they scream. I've been going to physical therapy. Next week is supposed to be my last week, but my PT was like, maybe we should stop. But then I went to her on Friday, which was yesterday, and I asked her, like, can I get back into working out again, like lifting the weights? And so her and I, collectively decided I will continue my PT next week. This way she can kind of like monitor how I'm feeling in getting back into the swing of things. I scratched the shit out of my face. Why is it every time I straighten my hair, which is once in a blue moon, very few and far between, do I ever really straighten my hair? I always hurt myself, whether it's with the straightener, whether it's with my fingers. Today I like scraped, I don't know you can see. I went to physical therapy. I think I've been doing it for a good like month, maybe like five weeks now. When I first went, my physical therapist told me that I could walk because you know, natural movement of our bodies is walking. So she told me I could walk on a flat surface, no more 12, 3.30 for me. I've been walking and I've been yogaing. She told me no weightlifting. She told me no squatting. She told me no Pilates, no nothing. So. I've been going to physical therapy. I've been really good about it. I've been going twice a week. I've been doing my exercise as she's been telling me to do it. We've gone to the point where my hip muscles are better. And now she told me that I can start squatting and doing lower body, but she wants me to do it without weight. I've always been really into Sydney Cummings and I am gonna be the first one to say that a fitness journey is not like a three month journey. It's not a six month journey. I would say it's not even like a year journey. I feel like true fitness transformations take a year, take two years. I'm someone that I've always been very Active. I love working out. It's a good release for me, a good stress release. So I really love Sydney Cummings. And my goal with my physical therapy and getting back on track is to heal myself so that when Sydney launches her summertime fine, which she does every year in May, I can do that program. It is a three month program, 12 weeks. And I am so, she makes me so strong and so fit. August comes and I'm just like lean and I'm jacked and I'm strong. And it doesn't even matter what I look like. I just feel like I can conquer the world. And that's important to me and I wanna do that. So in getting back to Sydney, have been starting to do Eleni Fit, which I did her before I got injured. She was kind of like my rest day workout. When I say rest day, it was just like not as intense as Sydney. So I've been doing Eleni Fit. I've been doing a lot of her 10 minute workouts. So what my workouts look like right now is I'm walking on the treadmill between 40 and 60 minutes just to get my steps in, to get my heart rate up and to just move my body. I find like when I move my body, I feel my best. It is like quite honestly the best therapy ever. And then I will do a 10 minute workout. I'll do a Laney Fit, like a 10 minute ab or 10 minute upper body. I've been incorporating a little bit more lower body since I got the clear from my physical therapist, but I've been doing it without weights. So today I did a 20 minute workout by Mad Fit. So I've been doing a Laney Fit and Mad Fit, those two workout programs or those two YouTuber workouts. I will link the video that I did today, but it was like a 20 minute full body workout. And I am just like the queen queen of modification. If it's a workout, like a lower body where I know that I can't do it, I will just lift my weights and I'll do some curls. I'll do hammer curls. I'll do like shoulder presses. I'll do upper body things. So I am definitely modifying, but it feels so good to be able to be back on my workout program game. I've still been doing Boho Beautiful. That's just like a good yoga channel that has really helped guide me through this time in my life because you guys know. Since losing my dad, I've been really heavily reliant on moving my body on working out it's just been like my mental clarity whenever I'm stressed if I just work out I feel so much better so that has been my fitness journey I just wanted to update you also I wanted to show you I bought from rain me and I just filmed the video today I filmed my March favorites so this is gonna be in my March favorites but I just wanted to show you really quickly Raimi is a youtuber brand what is her name Ah, oh, Amelia, duh. I watch all of her YouTube videos I love her she's very entertaining her business is going out of business so she's having a ton of sales. I bought some stuff to support her. I bought this little lucky charm. What is that? Shamrock ring. 
because it goes with my silver. So I wanted to mention that to you. And I also bought this little catch-all for the beach house, like a little catch-all. And y'all know I love a catch-all. I throw all my rings in here, all that kind of stuff. I'm bringing this to the beach house, but I wanted to show you now before her business officially goes out of business. If you want to buy it, I think everything is like half off. So those are the two things that I bought. I didn't buy anything from her before it was going out of business because I'm going to be honest, the shipping to the U.S. is very expensive. It's like 30 bucks I think I paid to get the, the stuff here to the U.S. Seeing as everything was 50% off, I could justify it. But I'm kind of sad that it's going out of business because I really do like this ring. I love, you know, I love, love, love an evil eye. Also, can one of you guys give me a book recommendation? I am struggling to get through my March book. This is Hollywood Housewives by Jackie Collins. I just can't get through it. I need a good recommendation. But what is on the docket this weekend? I really don't know. It is Saturday. It's almost two o'clock. Like I said, I journaled this morning. I worked out this morning. I did like four loads of laundry this morning. So she is feeling productive. We're going out to dinner with my in-laws tonight. I will definitely bring you along a bit for that. I'm loving this top. I'm definitely not gonna wear my lounge pants to dinner, but we will get dressed together. Oh, and also I wanted to show you the lip that I'm wearing. It's drugstore and I can't get enough of it. It is like honestly been my favorite. This is e.l.f. in standing ovation. Look at this color. Look at this color. Oh my God, it's so freaking pretty. I wanted to show you my bag that I took out last night because I'm so sad. I'm not so sad that the winter is over. I'm very excited for, wait, can you just see the difference though between my room? Like this is the light in my room. It's not terrible, but it's a little dungeony. Look at Mike's room, look at this. It's like I could get a friggin' suntan in this room. I also cleaned a little bit downstairs today. She's just been a productive day. So like I was saying, I feel like I'm a little bit on speed. I did just have a Coke Celsius, if anyone was wondering. And this is my closet lighting. Also better. Mm. Let's go in Michael's room because he doesn't like when I go in there. Well, he doesn't mind, but he likes to bust my chops. And so I like to irritate him. It's a mutual, it's a mutual irritation. So like I was saying, I'm not sad that winter is over, but like, look at this bag. It looks like an eggplant. I love it so much. Look at how cute. I took this out last night to go to dinner. I actually really love my outfit. I was wearing a navy sweater, blue jeans, and then like this, it's kind of like a purpley blue bag. Gianni Chiarini. I love a big bucket bag. I love a bucket bag. I really love Gianni. Like, look, I even have this little like wallet guy. They make really nice stuff. Again, with the shipping to the United States, they charge like 30 to $60 to ship their bags from Italy to the US. So it really only makes sense to buy the bags in bulk. I wouldn't spend like, I mean, I did the first time. The first bag that I bought, I bought it by itself and then I fell in love with it so much. So I really can't even talk. Is this even making sense? The first bag that I bought, you guys know, that green bag that I love. I loved it so much when I brought it to Napa when Mike and I went last year. I fell in absolute love with it. So much so that I decided to buy the same exact bag in white. And I cannot wait to bring those bags out for the spring and the summer. Oh my God. But I spent the duty on both of those. And then the last time that I bought a bag was this bag and I bought my mom a purple bag for Christmas. And it made more sense financially to buy two bags and then spend the shipping because it was like spend $30, get two bags. Whereas, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Girl math, okay? It made more sense. It was like 15 bucks per bag as opposed to like $30 in shipping for one bag, right? Right, I forgot what I was saying. I really like their stuff, but I just feel like the shipping really bothers me. Sir, what are you doing? Do you wanna say hi to everybody? I just filmed my March favorites and it was funny because Mike walked in and was like, what are you doing? And I was like filming my March favorites and he was like, oh, I'm an every month favorite. I was like, yeah, now we just need Brogan and Chloe. Brogi, Brogita. Oh, say hello, my sir. Look at how cute he is. You're my favorite. Ooh, I could squeeze you. I love you so much. He doesn't want me to squeeze him. He also doesn't want to love me. Will this go on sale? It might, honestly, because it's like winter, fall, but it is this color on the outside and then it's like this color on the inside. I just, I love it. I just throw shit in here and it's so nice. And I like the handle. It's like a little eggplant bag. Also like a little bowling bag. I love it, so cute. I don't know why, but I wanted to share that with you. This is gonna be a lot of like chit chatty sharing at home because I really don't have plans this weekend. So buckle up buttercup, it's gonna be a chatty one. We're going to a BYO restaurant tonight with Mike and his parents. I'm so excited. We haven't been in a really long time. There's this Italian restaurant near us that we like. Well. 
my husband loves it. I'm like, whatever about it, but I'm just, ex this is why I'm excited. I'm excited for the wine that we're bringing. So nickel and nickel, cannot wait. Guys, if you're not yet subscribed, subscribe. Click the bell button, the little notification. This way you get notification when this video goes live. Because When this video goes live, I've been there before. It was in my last Napa vlog. I will link it here, but Mike and I are going back to Napa. We go every year for my birthday. It is my favorite place on earth, favorite favorite place on the planet. I cannot wait. I had the itinerary booked. Oh, I need to call and make a reservation for the spa. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that right after I heat up my lunch because I'm starving. But this wine, guys, this is the best wine I have ever had in my entire life. This is Nickel and Nickel, their Hain Vineyard 2019 Cab. We're gonna be there in real life. I cannot wait. With that kind of wine, it doesn't even matter what the food tastes like. The wine is just so good that nobody cares. Nobody cares. Also, I wanna tell you a little story. So. For those of you that don't know, I commute to and from work. I walk, I'm out in the elements. I'm out in the elements when it's frigid, when it's hot, when it's sweltering outside, I'm outside doing my best, living my life. I probably walk like two and a half, close to three miles a day, right? Okay, so she's out there, she's living. She's, I would like to say thriving, but nine out of 10 days, I'm not. So the other day, it was pretty warm out. I decided to not wear a coat to the bus. Well, I didn't really decide. I was rushing as I always am because no matter how much time I give myself, I'm always running late. And I was dressed, I grabbed my jacket and I went walking to the bus. Now stay with me, okay? So I'm walking to the bus, I'm carrying my jacket, right? I got my backpack on, have my outfit on. I was wearing a cute cardigan. I was wearing an all navy outfit because I love navy. And I was going out to dinner with my girlfriends that night. So I dressed really cute and I freaking wore pants that I just took the tags off by cost. I bought them a long time ago. We did a haul. I haven't worn them yet because they're navy, so they feel like fall winter, but they're very light material. So it's like, you can't really wear them when it's 15, 20 degrees outside. So it was a beautiful day, nonetheless, a beautiful day. I was having a good time. I looked cute. Well, I wasn't having a good time because I was commuting to work, but I was trying to have a good time. So I walked on the bus. I get on the bus, I put my jacket on. Okay, now I have my jacket on get off the bus, walk to the office, get to the office, take my jacket off, and there is bird shit all over the side of me. All over my cardigan that was under my jacket, all over my pants that was also under my jacket. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, great. My coworker, I get in, I say good morning to everyone. I'm a pleasant being. I try. And she's like, how are you doing? I'm like, there's bird shit all over me. She looked and she goes, ooh. There is bird shit all over you. So I go to the bathroom, I wash it out as much as I can. I gotta go to Dwayne Reed because there's no tide in the office. I'm like, how the hell did a bird shit underneath my jacket? Guys, if you do the math and you think back, a bird shit on me in my town where I live and I rode with the bird shit on me and then I covered the bird shit up with my jacket and it was marinating inside my jacket. So, that happened on Tuesday. It is now Saturday and I'm finally washing my clothes because you know, a girl works full time. I don't know why I needed to tell you, but this is not the first time that I've been shit on by a bird. This should be fun. I'm about to inhale this eggplant parm sandwich with this lipstick on and let's see what it looks like after. A little bit of a beauty test amongst the vlog. Let's see how this bad boy holds up. Mm. Wow, I'm gonna say not bad. Oh, do you agree? Held up pretty good. What's the matter? Say hi to the people. Hello. How did you get so cute? I know, you just don't want me to touch you. You want to just look cute and be cute over there without me touching you. But that's like torture. That's not very nice. We are loving the sun, thriving in the spring. I'm watching Brogan. He was laying really cute in his bed and I tried to get a little snippy of it, but the second that I put the camera up, well, I put it on the ground to film him, he like got up. This is literally what I watch every day. I watch him sit by the door, getting a little bit of a breeze and just chilling. Oh, okay. And licking his butt apparently. Brogan. I like this fit. I feel like I look like a rich housewife in this outfit. And because of that, I know you wanna see it. Brogan, let's show them the fit. Come on. 
This is better. I like really only take her out in the spring and summer. I feel like she's really a spring and summer bag, although the rock studs could make her fall winter. She's really in any season, but in my seasons of dressing, definitely spring, summer. Here's the garbage. Here's the jeans. Here's the shoes. One day, I promise you, I will get it right one day. There we go. Jacket, cut some jeans. I don't know why I'm dancing. Sam Edelman shoes. And it's just like a pink vibe with a pop of like winter because it's spring slash winter. We already went over this. Also, I feel like my lips are very dry. I'm gonna put a little bit of this. This is my little pouch that I take with me. Sorry, I keep looking at the monitor so it looks like I'm not talking to you. It looks like I'm looking at myself because I am, not because I'm vain, but because this thing will not focus. But I bought this for myself and my sister because it has camo and my dad loved camo. He's in a camo urn and then it has a heart because I just feel like it was very my dad. So I bought it for the two of us when my dad passed. It's just like a little catch all. I'll link it down below. But I put my lip products in here because I'm nervous that like my gloss or my lipstick or my lip liner, like Lord knows sometimes the caps fall off of these and then I end up with the liner all on the inside. And also this cap is like cracking, but I digress. I put all my lip stuff in here and then, you know, my little San Francisco mirror that I literally go everywhere with. I have my standing ovation lipstick, which is what's on my lips, stripped down by MAC, which is also on my lips. And I took this out for a reason, duh. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. in Rose Envy and just give a little bit of life in the middle. Bless you over there. What are you wearing, babe? Let me see your outfit. Blue steel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I like this lip and I'm also tired of talking about this lip, but can you let me know if you like this lip also? The lighting, I don't know what's happening, but look at my skin. My skin is so glowy. Honestly, honestly, it's the Rodeal, Rodeal. I don't know how you say that, that primer. My skin looks, I can't even explain, but you can only see in the sun. See, oh my smoothness. Anywho, Mike went to go return jeans and I'm in heels, which I'm not supposed to be. I'm not supposed to be in heels. So I'm not walking in the mall. I'm sitting in the car with said heels because I don't wanna hurt my hip. Honestly, I shouldn't be wearing them at all, but I figured like walking into the restaurant and then once we sit down, I'm not standing on my hip, so it'll be fine. Mike has a nice little setup here. So it's actually funny because I drive a really old Altima, okay? I'm an Altima girl, and apparently there's a lot of memes about us, and I do sometimes drive my car like it's a bumper car. Guilty as car, charged. Guilty as charged, what am I even saying? I just feel like with these new cars, like he has 17 different ways of entering the car, of starting the car. He has a key fob, he has an app on his phone, he has some other thing. And I'm just like, you know what, with me, I feel like the simpler the better. Me and Betty, man. Betty's my, my Nissan Altima. Me and Betty. We just, we get each other and honestly I love her and I love driving her and as fancy as, you know, cars are and as nice as cars can be, I love my girl. We took another nickel and nickel, okay? But sh the one that he picked was from Haynes Vineyard. They have like four different vineyards, I think, nickel and nickel. And I was like, he didn't know the differences between them. And I was like, no, this one is your favorite one. And he was like, well, let's not bring my favorite one to dinner. I was like, yeah, let's bring another one that's just as good, but a different kind of good. Should I be your wine sommelier? I feel like I'd be really good at it. I don't think I can pass the test because I was looking it up and it's like 25% of people pass the sommelier test. And then to become like a master sommelier, it's like literally like 2% of people pass, which is like really, it's like really insane. Okay, I'm liking this lip as I'm sitting here. I don't know. Okay, I'm liking this lip as I'm sitting here. I don't know. I feel like e.l.f. does a good job of adhering and like absorbing the gloss on top of it, but I feel like the color just looks better matte, but the matte wasn't giving my lips what it needed. And my lips were looking a little dry. 
because you know why? I did not put Vaseline on my lips last night before I went to bed. I'm so excited for this. A glass of wine. I want like a cheese board. Really, that's what I want. I don't know if this place has a cheese board though, but it's like wine and cheese season. Do we not agree? It's always wine and cheese season. What am I saying? Really want to go to the tasting room that we went to. Oh my God, Mike said we've never been to a tasting room. We went to a tasting room in Jersey. We were just talking about maybe putting in another wine tasting in Napa into the itinerary. I feel like I should do that really quick while I'm just sitting here in the car. It's super cute, but like I kind of want to be outside at a vineyard. I'm not looking at rolling vineyards here. There's no rolling vineyards. It's just like a bar that I could go at at night when the sun has left the building. Buena Vista Winery, Reserve a Table, Sonoma. And let's see how far it is from the hotel. River Terrace Inn. Do you want to know our itinerary? Keep on listening. 28 minutes. I feel like we could do this. Is the security guard taking a picture of our car? Of our car? I didn't see her just now. I saw her behind us, but I didn't know what she was doing. She didn't say anything to me. She like got out and took a picture of... Why didn't she come talk to me? I'm sitting right here. I don't know. We're not going to the tasting room for Buena Vista. I think we should just go to the winery. Okay. Because the tasting room is like inside. Who wants to be inside? I don't want to be inside. All the tasting rooms are inside. I don't like that. Why be inside when we can go to a winery? Because you said we weren't going. Well, now I think we should go. But we were inside when we went there last time. And you complained about that while we were there. That's true. They didn't do a tasting outside. Let me see if I could do one outside. Okay. Okay, thank you. Good morning, my loves. Is it even morning? I really wanna say morning though because I didn't say good morning to you yesterday. No, it's 12.15. I'm still in my pajamas. I did a lot this morning. I'm trying to not beat myself up about it. I just feel like my Sundays have been slow in the morning, slow in the sense that I look like this until like 12, 30, one o'clock. But in all honesty, I edited my vlog this morning. I uploaded it. I talked to my Aunt Debbie for a little bit. I had my coffee. I journaled. I read. I'm sorry. I didn't film any of those things. I will next time though, because I just feel like it's important to upload like the reality of what's going on. I have to say in all my videos, I watch them back and I feel as though my videos are very good representations of me because I sit here and I'm just myself. I could be a little bit more ratchet and I could be a little bit more snippy, but I try to hold back a little bit, you know? I don't wanna hurt people's feelings. And those in my life who know me, know me and know that I always come from a loving place. I could just be a little feisty sometimes, a little sassy, but that's just like a part of my personality. And I do think that you get that sense here watching my videos. But you know, I just had a Sunday to myself. I slept kind of late. I don't know, let me know. Like we pushed the clocks forward a couple weeks ago at this point, but I've been struggling. I can't wake up. I was really good at waking up at like 7, 7.30 every day and I was getting so much done. And then on the days that I went to work, I was waking up at like 5.00. 15. I'm having trouble getting up early. The hour really threw me for a loop. It's so nice outside. Instead of walking on the treadmill, I might go for like an actual walk because I woke up with anxiety today. I have more anxiety on the weekends than I do during the week, which makes no sense to me. I'm gonna do a 20 minute workout at home just to get the hip back reacquainted with working out. I wanna shower, do some red light therapy, but I need to get my day started because I don't know if you're like this, but I always leave everything to the last minute. I do a pretty good Sunday reset overall, but I don't do a Sunday relax. So like five o'clock rolls around and I'm like, I need to go run all these errands before it gets dark because I'm an old lady, you know, hip and all. And then by the time I'm like done with everything, it's like 8.30 and I need a good like four or five hours, I think, to decompress at the end of the day. I'm just a very lethargic human. There is like so much shit in front of me and the clutter is driving me crazy. Um, question, <laughs> I'm getting ready to go for a walk. And I've had this hat for quite some time. I love this hat. This is how I look when I wear hats. I just feel like I have a pea head, I'm hiding. She looks very incognito, but is she incognito with this sticker? Why do I have this sticker on this hat? Am I supposed to take the sticker off? Even if I'm not, I feel like, why is it here? Um, this is weird. I've I've had this hat for, when did I go to, I bought this one. Did I buy this in San Francisco when I went with Mike? My brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, I think I did. And that was in, that was before COVID. So I've been walking around with that sticker on this hat and I have not noticed this entire time. Guys, I hope that that says something about me. It's kind of funny because I feel like my family always says, like I have my head in the clouds. I'm not here. 
a lot of the time. Where I am, don't ask me. I would tell you if it was a better place, but it's just a disconnected place. We love a chin scratch, a chin scratchy. Now I gotta throw all this hair out. The luxuries of loving you. Oh, this face. It's 5.02, I'm showered and I have a mask on. I'm using the Volition Detoxifying Mask. This mask is so good. I talked about Alexa in my last vlog because I had dinner with her. She was the one who bought this for me and she sent it to my house. It was so sweet. Honestly, like made my whole week and it was around when my dad passed away. So it was just like so sweet of her to send to me. But I knew that it helped with clogged pores. It honestly, just from not knowing anything about it, you put it on and it takes all of the dead skin off. Your skin looks brighter and just like, it's softer. I just think of it as like a really good exfoliating mask. It helps to detoxify and balance clogged pores for even looking radiant skin. It has vegan squalene, which diminishes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles while helping improve moisture retention. There are only two masks that I use. This one that I've used quite a lot of times and I still have, I'd say like half left. I use this mask and then the Peter Thomas Roth gel cucumber mask because it's so good at hydrating and it's a conductor for my new face. So I'm not a big masker just because I don't give myself a lot of time to do anything, especially get ready. So masking is just like never a priority for me between all of the other things that I do, to be honest. But if the mask is good, I'll use it. I can honestly say that I've tried a lot of masks that are not that good. And this is an exception. It's wonderful. I forgot that you're supposed to take it off with a sponge. It's just so satisfying to take off. And the sponge helps to exfoliate too. Alexa, can you turn it off? Thank you. I saw this LinkedIn post the other day. This woman was like, I always make sure to thank my Alexa or any of the robots because one day when the robots take over the world, they'll remember that I was kind to them. And I kid you not, that's literally what I say to Mike. Mike is so mean to Alexa, he really does not like her. I don't know why we have so many Alexas if he hates her so much, I love her. She helps me get my shit together on a day-to-day -day basis because I am terrible. You know, you see me, I'm always in a rush getting ready. In the morning, I wake up, I ask her what the weather is, what it's gonna be, what the humidity is, what the temperature is now, what it's gonna be later when I get out of work, check the bus schedule, I then put a timer, I ask her to set a timer, like an alarm for when I need, you know, 10 minutes to go downstairs. Can't say enough good things about her when I mask, I asked her, I asked her to set a 10 minute timer. She's just like the best virtual assistant. I really love her. You should be nice to people just in general, especially the people that help you. This is my PSA announcement for the day. But did you see how, you see that? Look at how shiny my skin is. Mm, it's delicious. I forgot to mention that I started using this LED wand called a Solo Wave. I'm just putting my serum on Hydropeptide Moisture Reset. It says you can use it with any serum, but I need to do some research, which I will share with you, but I'm just standing here doing it. It's an LED light, so I hold this down. Can you hear this thing? I just started using this yesterday, and I just wanted to share because I'm gonna do like a little test to see if it really works, but it's a little LED wand, red light therapy in it. I need to do more research. I literally just started using it, but you know, I don't like to keep things from you guys. And I wanna know if any of you use this and if you do, what are your thoughts? I bought this, it was on sale. I think it was like during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, like last year. I'm terrible because I forgot that I have it because I have too much shit. So when I was cleaning out my skincare drawer yesterday, I saw it, but I, it's supposed to help like brighten your skin or reduce the appearance of fine lines. But honestly, I like it because it feels nice. It has like a warming sensation. It vibrates. 
And I feel like it's really gonna help me with my discoloration. I don't know why. But like I said, I need to do more research, but look how cute it is. It's just like a little compact. And I'm hoping it like reduces these little sun marks. I don't know, it just feels nice. My skin is in a really good place and I also think the hydrofacial helped, so yeah. I cleaned up so much. I put away all my laundry. I washed all of my makeup brushes. I put out my gym clothes for tomorrow. I got my Rent the Runway pieces. This is one of them. This kind of like, I felt like this was like a springy, I hope you can see, kind of blazer. If you can hear Mike vacuuming, it is what it is. So I'm gonna wear this tomorrow with a cream shirt and just some gray pants. So this is the vibe. This is the color palette. And then I picked out my outfit for the following day, a different blazer here, a different top here, and the same pants because why not? Also, tip from me to you. If you are someone that needs to work out in the mornings or just whenever it is, I feel like for me, I love working out. But the more that I have to think about working out, the less likely, well, I am going to do it. I always work out, but I procrastinate. And in the morning I have, I keep like a playlist on my YouTube channel that's private to me of like workouts that I'm interested in doing every morning. Usually Sundays when I'm scrolling through the workout that I'm going to do that day, I look at videos or like workouts workouts that I would do during the week. So today's Sunday and I did my workout. I will link the workout that I did down below. I did a mad fit workout and I'm just like really enjoying her workouts because as I'm trying to ease into things with the hip, I like her pace. I like that she has a slower pace, more concentrated so that I can consciously think about my form because I feel like when you're rushing, when you're rushing in a workout, you can't really think about your form and I need to think about my form, especially because of my hip. So in scrolling for the workout that I was going to do today, I looked at workouts that were like 20, 15, 20 minutes long that I would do in the morning. So I add them to my workout playlist and then on the days where I just like can't think of a workout I just literally go to my private playlist and I hit play I don't know is this boring I have no idea but my closet is like somewhat of a mess even though I feel like I clean it all the time I gotta say I'm so excited to wear these flats that I showed you guys in a vlog not that long ago I haven't worn them yet because it's not flat season I did my skincare I think I'm ready to just like eat dinner so I'll take you guys along with me I'm just gonna show you snippets I'm gonna love you and leave you here I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog I know there wasn't really much going on but I want to spend the weekend with you and i hope that you enjoyed spending the weekend with me i love you guys so much if you're not yet subscribed subscribe click the bell button next to it this way you get a notification every time a new video goes live and i really really hope to see you in my next one bye guys Mwah.